anything can happen in racing. And everything pretty much did happen in our last round of HP Motocross at Iron Man Raceway. Joel Hedrick was out front, holding off a challenge from the rest of the field until his machine expired and suddenly the series points leader was left in the dust. Chad Weenan went on to inherit the Moto win. Then the reins came down to add more variety for Moto number two. Hedrick was in second, pushing Weenan, looking for a way around as the mud began to seize machines. Hedrick spun out, then got going again, only to run into mechanical problems for a second time. While his nemesis, Weenan, scored max points with 1-1 finishes. That puts Weenan on top, heading into this weekend's event at South of the Border with Thomas Brown and Jeffrey Estrelli also taking advantage of Hedrick's misfortune. Hey, there's Pedro, and hey, there's you fans of ATV National Championship Motocross Racing, sanctioned by MA Pro Racing. We're out south of the border, round four, just off I-95. It's a tourist trap on one side of the highway, but an awesome motocross practice and race facility on the other side. And as always with ATV Motocross, a variety of classes, even this retro three-wheeler thing that has really caught on the last couple of years. Here's Brandon Hoag's number 26, looking good. These guys ready to race. Alan Myers, number 24, relatively new to the class, very competitive. Wes Lewis, 79, been around a while, always strong. Everyone having a good time today. 38 is Sammy Rowe. Jaron Cochran on the 563. That machine looks like it's on fire, literally. Wesley Wolf, very versatile on the 741. That's A. Hey, Nick Janusa with a backflip. Not on the machine, just himself. There's the actual race squad. The Phoenix Racing Team, Hayden Mickelson. He's ready to represent as well as, of course, teammate Joel Hetrick. That's Cody Ford's number 52, the Baldwin Racing Machine. Root River Racing, Dylan Tremellen there, and his number 940. Let's go back over to Phoenix, Joel Hetrick, and that team needs a big rebound. Back-to-back -back did not finishes in the last two motos. Have opened the door for Chad Weenan, proud papa, to get the points lead back. All right, coming into south of the border here, uh, second time here, uh, points leader, uh, just regained it uh, last round, big round at Ironman, and uh, SOB here is a pretty cool track, like a lot of jumps, really jumpy, um, I had good success here last year, went one, two, got a whole shot, so try to build off of that and try to carry this uh, points leader momentum into this round and try to come out of here with some good points and we got great weather this weekend so hopefully it sticks around for us and uh, we have a good uh, good showing here. Ryder hoping to jump in if either Weenan or Hetrick falters Jeff Restrelli always a contender. Last year I did really well here um, and I not they don't like the track so much but I don't dislike it so it's uh should be a good weekend it's uh had some changes this year so I'm looking forward to uh you know, to riding it, uh, you know, the the different uh, the different track like everybody else, and uh, kind of kind of evens everybody up. You know, considering nobody's been on the the new style track yet, so um, yeah, just really looking forward to getting the day started and um, you know, get getting uh, get on the podium again for sure. So there's Rostrelli getting ready to ride. Riders meeting with Harv Whipple from the AMA taking place. We'll talk to Joel Hetrick and some of the other contenders when we return, and then we'll let them loose on the racetrack. ATV Motocross is brought to you by Rocky Mountain ATV MC and by Maxis. Riders inspecting the track here at south of the border in South Carolina. Let's talk to the number 84. It's going to be hard to pass. You're going to have to get good starts, and you're going to have to let it hang out. You're going to have to ride that edge. And I'm, uh, I feel like I'm a little more calculated than that, and it's sometimes tough for me to ride that edge. But I'm going to try to do that this weekend and see what we can come up with. We need, a, we need some good finishes. We need to get back up there and challenge and show that we uh, can be in this championship hunt. I'm ready to go, see what everybody does, and see how the cards fall. Yeah, it already does have one overall win this year. Let's go to qualifying now. The riders both learn the track, which has had some changes this year, and also go from best lap time, which will result in the best gate pick. We'll start off with Chad Weenan. 
always quick in qualifying, but Hetrick has really been the guy to beat in the qualifying session most of the time the last few years. There's Thomas Brown airing it out. Great dirt here, by the way. Here's Rostrelli showing you just what that dirt looks like with the roost. There's Hetrick, one of the technical rhythm lanes in the center part of the track. And some classic Hetrick style there, throwing a little whip. Hey, there's Nick Janusa, not backflipping, on his machine and going fast. A man out of New Jersey on the Gen USA machine. Brandon Hogue on the 26 in red landing. And then Myers, Alan Myers, we were showing you earlier, keeping pace with him out here in practice. The distinctive white wheels, Cody Ford of the 52. And Hayden Mickelson on this 135, the Phoenix Racing Honda looking strong as well. Sammy Rowe, lighten it up. Didn't have a problem with weather this weekend as Wesley Wolf comes through. You see some dust actually popping out in parts of the track. Got a little breeze and some sunshine drying it all out. That was Jaron Cochran, new to the pro class this year out of Pennsylvania. Wes Lewis, nice pit setup back there as well. Dylan Tremellen on the gas. Joel Hetrick back on top. He's your fast qualifier here today. That's no surprise. Question is, can he carry that into the motos and finish them this time? It's going to have to really work to get the red plate background back as he gave up the points lead at our last race due to the bad luck. We'll be racing when we return moto number one from south of the border on Mav TV next. Racer TV is brought to you by Rocky Mountain ATV MC and by Maxis. Joe Hedrick headed down to the line. Chad Whedon already there. Everyone's scoping out where they want to start today. It's south of the border. Round four of the ATV Motocross Championship for 2019. 30 second card is up. Joe Hedrick's got a Rocky Mountain ATV MC on board. And the SSI Decals Whole Shot Award. Hey, got a look at his watch there. His heart rate monitor. I think that was. That is crazy. Looks like he was in the 160s already. Well, he's got pressure from Jeff Rastrelli right behind him. But really, that's not pressure from Rastrelli that makes the heart rate so high. It's just the intensity these guys have even sitting on the starting line before the race even begins. Rollers in the back. Some water has been thrown down. Track a little wetter than it was in practice. Got to be careful of those slick spots. Easy to spin out. Chad Wienan has, slide, has slid into the number three position ahead of Thomas Brown. Past the pit lane, that's his own big red semi you see back there, Phoenix Racing. Wienan trying to get around Rastrelli for second, but he's eating some of that very moist dirt with this water they threw down. Surprised how wet it is. Although we do incorporate these pro races right into the amateur portion of ATV motocross on each and every weekend. It's kind of a man-made off-camber section there. A little bit tricky. They don't have elevation change here, so they've had to build obstacles to add a challenge. Not challenging Hetrick, though, is looking good out front. These four riders circulating at the front of the pack, they have been the primary four to battle for these spots up front the last couple of years. Question is, can anyone stay with them today? Alan Myers is fifth early. He's the one tasked with keeping them in sight, but you can see the gap that's starting to build. It's a four pack, and then everyone else battling for that last top five spot. Wienan has eaten a lot of mud off the rear tires of Rastrelli as he tries to put the heat on. Oh, Hetrick looking good out front. You have to figure the motivation is very, very high. The problem is he can win all the motos that he wants. He's going to need some bad luck from Wienan if he wants to get back into this title hunt. Hetrick has 83 points. Wienan has 112. And Brown and Rastrelli are ahead of Hetrick now as well. He was off to the races, looking good. 
until the mechanical problems got him at the last event, dropped him from first to fourth in the standings. Wienan is just sitting here in third, cannot get around Restrelli. And dealing with pressure from Brown. Man, Hedrick is long gone. The speed is never in doubt with him. So here's the big swing. If Restrelli on the Baldwin Racing Machine, the Honda in red can hold off Wienan, that will be five points. The gap is only three if Wienan can make the pass on Restrelli. So he's going for it now, trying to turn it up. They are battling hard. Wienan around the outside and Brown trying to get. Oh, he almost took third away. I mean, he is all over the rear grab bar of Wienan. Great battle back here. Now Wienan doing everything he can to hold off Brown. These two are great friends former teammates, but on the racetrack, it's every man for himself. And Brown got an overall win earlier this year, so his confidence is high, and he feels like this is his year to take that final step, and he does, he's on the inside, and he makes the move. And Wienan gets hung up in those ruts. You don't see that very often. Someone making the move on Wienan like that, and he makes the mistake as he got pushed out of the line that he wanted. Brown has got the bit between his teeth in 2019, and now he wants Restrelli. These two have had great battles the last three seasons, and it's happening again. Wienan is back, he's trying to get Brown. And he's on the inside, he's got the move, no! Can't quite make it out of the corner, could not find any traction. And now you see why they watered this track so much. It has dried out in a hurry. But the action is still wide open out here. And Whedon makes the move. He gets back around Brown. So now, as the Yamaha riders flip-flop, it's allowed Restrelli to get back away. Huge points on the line all around, including for Brown, who believes he's in this title fight. You know he wants to get Whedon back. Restrelli's a buffer. He's in the hunt. And it's allowing Hetrick to further extend his lead here at South of the Border. ATV Motocross is brought to you by Rocky Mountain ATV MC and by Maxis. Joel Hetrick has absolutely checked out here in the first moto today of ATV Motocross out south of the border. Chad Wienan has caught Jeff Restrelli. I didn't think he'd get there after he was embroiled in a big battle. Now he's going to try the outside, and Restrelli squares it to try to hold him off. Wien did a good job getting the rear wheels to the ground, getting the power hooked up, and he's back to the number two spot. Looked like he was going to pass Restrelli earlier in this race. Restrelli hung tough. Brown actually pushed Wienan back to fourth. Good determination from your defending series champ to move back to second. And this is what Wienan does, man. He always limits the damage. I don't know if he expects to go out there necessarily and just one one throw beatdowns on these riders like he could years ago. But he always has a solid finish. Could have been a fourth. He's turned it into a second. Joel Hetrick, nothing he can do more. He's out front and gone. Nick Janusa has gotten around Alan Myers. It's still a good run for Myers, though. Janusa has been a podium runner in the past. And Myers is definitely learning. Restrelli and Brown having a scrap. Brown going to double out of that corner, and it's going to put him on the inside here for the left-hander. And he makes the move. Restrelli trying to come back. Well, I'm surprised to see Jeffrey get zapped like this twice. Especially after Wienan and Brown were trading blows with each other and slowing the pace. Here it is, one lap to go. Hendrick's got the moto win secure. Back by Elka Shocks and Moose Racing. Also Max's tires. The track was very slick and wet when it started. It's dried out quite a bit here, so good job nailing the setup and also adapting as a racer with the conditions changing so much throughout the day. Hetrick headed toward the checkered flag.
Well, the comeback starts here. Terrible luck in our last race, but Joe Hedrick's not giving up on this series. He takes the Moto One win and a hill clicker to celebrate. But Chad Wienham was able to salvage that second as we get ready for the second moto. Everyone prepping behind the starting gate. There is Wienan. Saw Rastrelli's crew down there. Hendricks got the Rocky Mountain ATV MC on board again. Let's go. Right off the start, it's the same as it was in the previous moto. Rastrelli putting serious pressure on Hedrick. Wienan all the way in the side of the track, trying to make an early move. He's down to the inside. Nick Janusa giving you a great view of this action. Rastrelli fending off the challenge of Wienan and trying to keep the heat on Hedrick. Well, Wienan down to the inside. And he does make that early pass. It took him forever to get it done in Moto 1. Now we're going to see the two heavyweights in this class facing off one-on-one. -on -one. Can Wienan keep Hedrick in sight? They could not do it in the first moto. And Wienan is right there. Janusa right there as well. I think that was Dylan Tremellen who spun out. Had a good start, but now he's headed to the back. So he tries to recover. So one spot made up by Janusa. Still got to get around Cody Ford, who had a good start. Here's your leader, Hedrick, putting the power down and airing it out. And there's a big gap now. I thought this was a game of inches, but as Janusa is challenging Ford, Hedrick has pulled away. It is wheel to wheel here for fifth. Janusa makes the pass. Sammy Rowe has run into mechanical problems while Hedrick tries to hold on to the lead. ATV Motocross is brought to you by Rocky Mountain ATV MC and by Maxis. It's a cool overhead shot of south of the border, a motocross racing and training facility essentially on the South Carolina, North Carolina state line, obviously the southern side of it. Interstate 95, it's got a big tourist area. I guess I could say it's a tourist trap where everyone on their way to Disney World and Florida, especially in the winters, folks up north, it's kind of a crossroads for them. But it's a great motocross place as well. We have great racing. Looks like Thomas Brown just made the move on Jeffrey Rastrelli to take over third. So not Rastrelli's best here today. You know what these starts second in both motos he would like to have finished there but the Yamaha boys have ganged up on him but they have not been able to do anything with this man and I think it's pretty safe to say Joel Hedrick is the fastest rider in the game so many fast qualifying awards so many moto wins but only one title it appeared that last year's championship was his until he broke a chain at the last race of the year he was off to a great start this year until the mechanical problems at our last race cost him dearly in the standings. He comes into this race fourth with a massive hole to fill to try to catch back up to the leader in the standings. Weenan and Weenan doing what he always does, solid performances, looking for 2-2 today to minimize the amount of points Hedrick can make up. Hedrick. Back by Phoenix Racing, Elka Shocks, Boost Racing, and Maxis. Looks to have the victory in hand. The Wienan Motorsports Yamaha behind him. That's Wienan who also running Maxis tires. Gonna have to settle for the runner-up ride. When Hedrick's on, not much you can do. White flag is out. Just had a glimpse of Brown. He worked hard today. Here he is, but not able to bridge that gap like he wants to to Hedrick and Wien. And look how fast Hedrick gets through those rollers. Well, he might be the fastest man on the planet, ATB motocross style, but Chad Wienan has been the most consistent man on the planet. And once again, they're in a title duel. Who's to say who's gonna take it in 2019? But today's race day, Advantage Hedrick, 
Whedon managing the situation well in second. Checkered flag in sight. Way to bounce back for Joel Hedrick after a heartbreak in the last round. He wins with 1-1 scores, two hole shots, and the fast qualifying award. Just finished up uh, Moto2 here south of the border. Super good weekend for me. Uh, got first in time qualifying, two hole shots today. Bike was working awesome. That Dassa motor just ripping out of the line. Max's tires hooking up awesome, and uh, everything was clicking today. I maintained to uh, pull off a 1-1 finish today and picked up a lot of points. So that's the goal, just keep building on this and go to Muddy Creek, one of my uh, better tracks, and try to do it again. Went 2-2 on the day. My starts weren't necessarily where I really needed them to be to uh, run out front, but um, yeah, my Yamaha worked really good today, and Max's tires hooking up and uh, leaving here the points leader. Um, but you know, I'm uh, I'm still fighting for wins, and that's that's our goal. And I'm gonna keep pushing to the end and uh, see what see how the cards fall, and um, on to uh, Muddy Creek next round. Super pumped to be back up here on the podium, south of border, man. Last year definitely one of the tracks I struggled with. This year. We turned it around. Huge weekend to be back up here and keep pushing. We're still in close in points and we're just gonna keep clicking away. I'm, like I said, I'm super pumped. The old CST T Brown training, Root River uh, team just, you know, man, we all put our hats on and we do what we need to do to get the job done and I think we did it. So, pumped and we'll see y'all at Muddy Creek. Here's your Max's race recap. It's Max's tires hooking up for the whole shot. Joel Hedrick leading. Jeff Rastrelli right behind him. What a battle. Chad Weenan. Thomas Brown, they passed each other back and forth, then finally Wienan hooked up and got to second, but there was no catching Hetrick, who was gone. Celebrating with the heel clicker, another hole shot for Hetrick in Moto2. Here is Thomas Brown and Rastrelli duking it out. It would be for third because Wienan was long gone in second, and Hetrick long gone out front. Hedrick's got the 1-1 scores of the day. The Yamaha boys sandwich him on the podium. We'll be back. More racing next week from Muddy Creek. Congrats to Joel Hedrick. For everyone at Racer TV, I'm Jason Wygant. Thanks for watching.